ಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮರಂಗಸಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕಯಾ ಚಕ್ಷೋರುನ್ಮಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾ ಸಹ ಗಣರಘುನಾಥನ್ವಿ ತಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸಹ ಗಣಲಿತಾಖಾನ್ವಿ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣ ಸಿಂಧ ದೀನಬಂಧ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವಲಾನ್ಯಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿನ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮೇ ಗೌರತ್ವಿಷೆ ನಮ ಪಂಚತತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಸ್ವಕ್ತಾವತಾರಂ ಭಕ್ತಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಶಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಶಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಜನ್ಮಾದ್ಯಸ್ಯತೋನ್ವಯಾದಿತುರತ ಚಾರ್ಥೆ ಶುಭಿಗ್ಯ ಸ್ವರಾಟ್ ತೇನೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹೃದಯಾದಿ ಕವೇ ಮುಹಿಯಂತ ಸೂರಯ ತೇಜೋ ವಾರಿ ಮೃದಾ ಯಥಾ ವಿನಿಮಯ ಯೃಸರ್ಗೋ ಮೃಷ ಧಾಂ ಸ್ವೇನ ಸದಾ ನಿರಸ್ತಕುಹಕ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದಿರೇತ್ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಅಸ್ತು ವಿಶ್ವ ಕಲ ಪ್ರಸೀದ ಧ್ಯಾಂತ ಭೂತ ಶಿವ ಮಿಥೋ ಧಿಯ ಮನಸ್ ಭದ್ರಂ ಭಜತ ದೋಕ್ಷಜ ಆವೇಶ್ಯತ ನೋ ಮತಿರಪ್ಯಹೈತುಕಿ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಕೆಂಟೊ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೈವ್ beginning from verse number 3 so in the previous two verses we read about nand maharaj performing the jat karma ceremony he was very happy when he got the news that his son is born to him because he did not have any children for a long time so out of happiness he arranged for the ceremony and gave a lot of charity and people are happy they want to give the heart is blooming so jata halado mahamana so any question on previous class before we continue ತಿಲಾದ್ರೀನ್ ಸಪ್ತರತ್ನೋಭ ಶಾತಕೋಂಭಾಂಬರಾವೃತ್ತ 
so he gave a lot of charity he donated one niyuta cows dhenu naam niyate pradat so niyate is supposed to be 2 million so he gave 2 million cows in charity and he gave this to brahmanas the prabhya and all the cows were nicely decorated with horn covered with gold hoof nice cloth golden garlands alankrit so this is what he gave and he also gave seven mountains of sesame seeds teladrim sapta ratnogha shatakambha ambaravritam and these seven heaps mountain means heaps of sesame seeds they were covered with lot of gems and jewels on top of that so one heap has to be to the side so that if you stand behind it you cannot be seen from the other side and that high it has been so he gave seven of them and then they were covered with golden cloth shat kombham barabritam so this much charity he gave that's why he is called mahamana mahamana means udarmana very charitable large hearted so he opened all his treasury for people brahmanas so niyute vimsti lakshani one niyut is called 20 lakh so 10 lakh makes 1 million so 2 million gives this number here ekam dashatam sahasrani ayutam prayutani lakshamat niyutam so is 1 then you have 10 and 110 makes 1000 and 10000 makes one ayuta 100000 prayuta then that is called laksha and 10 laksha is one niyuta so tiladri parimana muktam bhavishyottare so what is this mountain or heap of sesame is described in the bhavishya uttar purana uttamo dasbhir dronai madhyamay panchbhir mata trivi kanishtha rajendra tilushaila pratyute so there is some measurement called drona says that the best is when it has 10 drona of sesame medium 5 and lower one is 3 drona sankhya cha what is called drona is also described khari drona adaka prastha kudvancha palampichu shanako maskas cheti yatha purvam chaturguna so says that you have khari then drona then adaka then prastha then kud then palam and pichu then shanak and mashak so yatha purvam chaturguna so the previous one is four times something like that. how much is one is not known
so these are some old measurements no they are not used drona is also a measurement khari adaka prasta i could ask a question yes when we hear this description uh, and sometimes also other description about the opulence at nandamaraj's palace with gold and study all mm. that and now he he of he donates all these cows with, with jewels and gold on the other hand sometimes you you see example of shataka shura this incident uh, to point out that the the rajpa the simple cow people the normal krishna was hanging in the cart so in such a situation he's just hanging there means there's no opulence there's no money there's no and then i had i had asked this question previously and you said it depends on the power of the commentator But now, since Bhagavatam says it, how how can this be reconciled with with an instance such as Krishna hanging in the cradle from the from the wheel? Yeah, so that's what this is. So you have to accommodate this jay. This is jay tite dikam janm navraj shraita indra shashvadatrihi. Gopi ki itin the very first sloka it is said that. But there is Indira. Indira means opulence, Lakshmi. Is eternally here, so it becomes manifest when there is needed. Otherwise, normal. Otherwise, from where was he storing so much jewels and gold and cows and so many things? So according to Yoga Maya, as we know that Krishna's pastimes they are arranged by Yoga Maya. So whatever is the necessary thing needed, then it manifests like that. It's like Krishna ordinarily, his small child, is not having that kind of strength. But if he has to kill Saktasura, then he kicks, and then whole thing falls off. Or if this Vyomasura came, picked him up, he became so heavy. Right? Before that, also he was heavy. Where Yashoda was not able to hold him in the lap, so he was not heavy all the time like that. So that was keeping him in her lap, but before Vyomasura he became heavy, and then when he took him away up in the sky, then he became even more heavy, and then he was hanging to his neck and became so heavy that he fell down. Vyomasura fell down. So therefore he manifested it at that time. So similarly, when there was a need for this, then it manifested like that. Later on, his Just a normal cowherd village chief, not having so much opulence, is not being shown. Otherwise, to imagine twenty-two million cows, right? So to donate that much cow, where was he keeping? I just think of two million. And even if he gave one hundred cow to one person, then at least he need like two hundred thousand people, right? So now to collect that many people who will take donation, from where you will get that many people? Who where where will they come from? Right? If you want, even if you want to give a big feast here, how many people? Ten thousand, fifteen thousand. Thirty thousand, forty thousand. Even now, when there is so much more population, so therefore it is understood like that. That in case of Krishna, things are arranged, and he wants to manifest his Ashwarya, and Ashwarya manifests, manifests, and then it is disclosed, closed, and disclosed. Baba Ji. I looked up the dictionary, and it's a khari mostly used for measure of grain. And one khari is eighteen drawn, which is equivalent to three bushels. No, I don't know what is a bushel. <laughs> bushel is this? Uh, I'm just for a point there. Drum, big drum, basically. Okay. So therefore. 
you have to have five big drums right that's what is you know, 10 what is it 10 10 big drums that makes one mountain like a big like what they call cello and the store something like that one big cello okay anything else so kalena snana saucabhyam samskarai tapse jaya shuddhyanti danai santushtya dravyani atmatma vidyaya so there are different purifications which happen with in different way with the time with action with another material so he is saying here basically he is saying that he is trying to relate it with the charity that he gave charity and this brings purification so he gives a list of items here how they get purified so some things get purified by time kalena so if some dirt is thrown out on the land you leave it open then sun comes purify it so kalena snana saucabhyam body becomes purified by taking bath cleaning it there is some dirt on the body samskarai then you have samskaras like jatkarm samskara is performed for purification tapsa austerity also purifies ijya worship or doing yaga so danai charity wealth purifies the world santushtya being content so dravyani so various dravyas they become purified and atma atma vidya and the atma atma is pure but in the conditioned state so that gets purified by atma vidya so there are various types of vidya but atma vidya means spiritual knowledge so that purifies the self from its conditioning so he also did this charitable work avashyakasya vividh danaadi yukta jat karmana garbha shodhakasya prak balakasya drishtantan deepakalankarena kalene so by performing various types of activities as prescribed in the shastra then the jat karma samskar purifies the garbha and the balaka the child so this is being described here by deepakalankar so deepakalankar is described a prastut prastuti or deepakatuni gadyate and something which is being described that is explained by referring to something which was out of context so here we are talking about jat karma but purification of austerity by austerity etc and this is not the subject here but that is being given as an, as an example and where there is one activity one karaka or one agent or one action which is spread into many things that is called deepakalankar like one lamp gives light to many places so here the talk is about the charity and this is being described with the example of purification of various things so kaladi bhir dravyani shuddhyanti the time etc 
द ऑब्जेक्ट बिकम प्योरीफाइड तत्र काले न वर्तमादिनी विद टाइम द पाथ एक्सेट्रा बिकम प्योर स्नान न देहादिनी बाय टेकिंग बाथ बॉडी शौच न मेध्य लिप्तंगादिनी बाय शौच और क्लीनिंग पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी वेर यू मे हैव डर्ट लाइक यू वॉश योर हैंड्स ना स्पेशली कोरोना टाइम्स सैनिटाइज बिकम्स शौच बिकम्स प्योर संस्कार है संस्कार है गर्भादीनी दिस इज द मेन थिंग विच वॉज बींग टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट बाई संस्कार द गर्भ द वोम बिकम्स प्योर तपसा इंद्रिया इंद्रिया दीनी बायोस्ट्रिटी द सेंस इज बिकम प्योर इज्जया ब्राह्मणा दीनी By doing yoga, a Brahman becomes pure. And dana ir dhana dini, by giving charity, the wealth becomes pure. Santoshtya mana, being content, the mind remains pure. Atma, atma, atma vidya, paramatma ne swarupa nu bhave ne jiva. So, Atma Atma Vidya, he says, Atma here means the Jiva, the conditioned soul, conditioned being. And Atma Vidya, he refers to Paramatmana, Sarupa Anubhavan, by having the experience of Paramatma. Then, the Atma becomes purified. So samskara is important part of Indian culture. Samskara basically means malap karanam and gunadham. These two things, removing the impurity and giving some extra quality. Like when you get, say, diamond or gold from the mine, it doesn't come the way you see it. So you get the diamond first you have to clean it so that is malap karan removing the dirt then you shine it polish it cut it into different shapes so that is second part and then you can fix it in gold or some metal so you bring in quality to it so this all this is called samskar So similarly, when child is born, then there are impurities, and those impurities are removed by doing the samskara, chanting of mantra, doing mantras, doing yoga, propitiating the devas, pitrus, forefathers, and so on. So that's what was being done. उटसाइड in the field yeah yeah about toilet yeah so then after some time it becomes pure that's right so that is kalin okay. uh when it says purifying the mind by contentment that means purifying it of calm crude or rajas or what is the thing being purified it's like if you are very greedy or you have dissatisfaction like people become jealous by seeing others so there if you are content then you don't become jealous or if you have certain situation you are disturbed then you accept it I remain peaceful. Because many disturbances come to the mind because of avidya. 
so somehow you specify it tashta santashta so next sloka sau mangalya giro vipraha suta maghada vandina गाय का जगुर ने दुर् धैर्यो दुंदु भयो मुहु सो एट दैट टाइम वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल आल्सो केम एन ऑल दिस बिग फेस्टिवल वाज गोइंग ऑन इट वाज अ बिग फेस्टिवल इफ 20 लाख काउज 2 मिलियन काउज आर बीइंग डोनेटेड मस्ट बी अ वेरी बिग न्यूज़ सो हियर यू डू सम फीस्ट news spread many people come and invited not only those who are invited then many start coming so various types of people came there were vipras so mangalya gira vipra whose speech was very auspicious because they were chanting vedic mantras puranas there were sutas magadhas and vandis these are different kinds of vipras brahmanas so suta you know like suta goswami their function is to recite the puranas so the recitation of purana was performed by class of brahmanas called sutas then there are magadhas so magadhas they come and they recite the lineage vansavali they keep track of it the maintain a record in the villages they still have that so every year they come in the village and they go house to house and they recite and in the olden days they used to be also learned people so they actually make shlokas that's how you see the puranas also have one so anucharitam chai puranam panchalakshanam so on sanucharit description of the vamsas so they recite and if uh, in the olden days they will probably especially for the kings they will speak about the four fathers and sing their glories so that is the function of the class of brahmanas called magadhas here in braj area they are called jaga that's the word they use in our side they are called known as bhat and then there are vandis so vandis are those who just sings praises they they are also good in making extempore poetry and recite the praises of the person the kings so especially kings used to have such people around them sutas magadhas vandis so they also came because nand maharaj was also a king sort of king for the cowherd people so they came and they recited especially if a child is born then they come and they record it like these days municipality keeps records of death and birth so previously they used to do that they will come and update their records so that's why in the puranas you hear all this like ninth canto of bhagavatam you saw he was just going on reciting because sut is expert in that so that that is the genealogy so then there were also singers gayakas so they sang gayakas cha jagur and nedur bhairyo dundu bhyom and at that time the various types of musical instruments they started playing so here it is as if they themselves started playing nobody was playing then right bhairyo dundu bhyo nedu so either you can take it as karmakartri priyog where 
the karma itself becomes the karta right or you can say that they just played naturally because krishna is born right that's why vasudev is called one of his name is anagadundu bhi because when he was born then anaka and dundu bhi they started playing by themselves so he became known as anagadundu bhi so here also we had bheri and dundu bhi bheri is also type of anaka so tada vipraha samangalya gira so at that time the vipras brahmanas what type who had samangalya gira samangalyam girshu yesham te shubhashirvad ka babhu so samangalya gira means that in whose speech there is auspiciousness means they were reciting ashirvachan or mantras of blessings so they came and sang that suta dayo jagu then the suta magada bandi they also sang so then he describes in this shloka who are sutas magada and bandi so suta pauranika prokta magada vamsa samsaka वंदनस्तु अमल प्रज्ञ प्रस्ताव सदृशोक्त सो सूताज पौराणिका सूताज आर दोज हू रिसाइड द पुराणज लाइक लोमहर्षण स्रोत उग्रश्रवा स्रोत सो दीज आर पौराणिका एंड मागधा वंश संसका मागधा जर दोज हू रिसाइड द वंशा vamsavali or the family tree so they are good at that that's their function and vandinas tu amala pragya prastav sadrishokta and vandis are those who sing according to the occasion whatever is the occasion then accordingly they will make slokas verses and then they sing that so like they have suchak kirtan in bengal especially right so suchak kirtan is like that whoever is the person in his remembers they make certain songs and then sing and do very nice kirtan so this is similar to bandis I have a question regarding the uh, brahmanas keeping track of the lineages of the people um you mentioned that uh, one name of these class of brahmanas of these uh, maghadas is bharta and i think you mentioned in the tatva sandarbha lectures i think that this bharta goes on the gopa bharta. this has nothing to do with it or no no it's separate okay but um yeah what would this class of brahmanas do which the, class the the bhartas bhartas simply means a scholar ah okay it's not necessary that it is a class it's like you said pandit hmm. so bhartas is client but now some people will make pandit as their surname Like that bhatta, but bhatta actually means learned. King kings are called bhatta raka, especially in the play. The, about the same people who are kept keeping track of the family. um really edge so ma- because mm, they how they 
they memorize it or how they how well, they, they have registers. They have a register it. and then they sing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. For each family? Yeah. Okay. Because one time we were in Farina. It's like if you go to Haridwar. Hmm. So in Haridwar there is a place called Brahmaghat. So there Brahmanas are sitting with big big these books. Mm -hmm. So Brahmaghat is a place where people go to what you call drop the ashes mm -hmm. after dying. So it is not that you just drop, you actually have a Brahmana and he will do the ceremony. It's a ceremony. Mm -hmm. And then they keep a record of it. So if you go then they'll say, Oh your so and so came in this even even if you go and it is not necessary that you go, but families have their relationship with that, then they will actually tell you where are you coming from? I'm coming from this place. And then so you go to this person, he is your okay. person. Then he will open the book and you say, Oh hundred years ago your great grandfather came. They actually <laughs> keep that record and he came, he gave this much donation and this and that, this, they keep record of that. So there are some places like that, maybe also Ganga and other places. So previously there used to be people like that. So they just keep, I'm sure there must be like this in Gaya, where people go to the Shraddha. In Puri also they are, so they are called Pandas. In Mathura also there are pandas like that. Our Chopas used to keep all our heritage. You can yeah. ask him and he will give you the details. So here in Vrindavan also, what you call these days, these pandas. Mm -hmm. So now these pandas are only taking you for temple darshan and just asking for money. But actually previously, they were known as Tirth pandas. So Tirth panda means the Brahmana, the holy place. Mm -hmm. And they have their areas. Means if you are coming from one particular area, then th there will be one particular panda or the family of the pandas. So they are allocated to that area. Then they will go, you go to them, then they will actually take care of you. You can stay with them, they will feed you, they will give you darshan and you give them dakshina. And then they keep track of it, they write it down. So you came and maybe your parents did not come but great-grandfather came. So they will tell you, your grandfather came in this and this year and he did this. So they keep track like that. So there used to be many people like that. So this is one class of Brahmanas. What you call here as Pandas in some places they are called with different names. So especially in holy places, Mathura, Vandavan, I'm saying Jagannath, Puri, Banaras, Haridwar, Kasi, you'll find this. And people go and do some religious ceremony and they keep track of it. So similarly, the kings used to come and they used to do a lot of charity, they will have a record of that. So that's how you know that this king made this temple, he gave this charity. Oh, Babaji, I have a question. On the previous verse, uh, it was said that by performing charity, one's wealth is purified. Can you please explain that? What is to be explained? As to how is it that by performing charity, that one's wealth gets purified? You see, when you do anything in this material world, there is always some violence involved. Although it may not look to us. Even when you are traveling by car, you may be killing so many mosquitoes, flies, you are going at a high speed and you see it many times your screen, you have to clean it, right? So how many entities you have killed, maybe under your tires, they are getting hit sometimes on the highways some dogs come, deers come, they get killed 
And even if they don't get killed, you are actually creating trouble for them. You are scaring them. So similarly, when you earn money in so many ways, without our knowledge and sometimes with knowledge also, we harm others. Maybe we harm nature. Now we are manufacturing so many things. And these products, we may think, well, I'm not doing any harm, but actually just you buy something and then such a, especially now this Amazon package, so much package comes. So now this package has been made with cutting trees or whatever, you know, and then it will be thrown into the nature. So this is all causing disturbance. It looks very benign, but when you think of it, this is a big pollution to the atmosphere. And then you are doing this because with this process you make money. So you are making money and in the process some impurity is coming because of that. So by charity you can get purified with that. That is the meaning. Anything else? So next, Vraja Samrishta Samsikta Dwarajira Grihantara Chitra Dhoja Patakashrak Chaila Pallava Tauranaihi. So now, how Vraja was decorated? Because the news spread, and first of all, Nanda Maharaj was like the chief of the cowherd people. So if a son is born to the chief, then everybody celebrates that. And especially in village, celebration means, because village was like a big family. So if some good thing happens to somebody, then everybody celebrates that. So it was not a celebration just in the house of Nanda Maharaj, but all the Vrajvasis, they celebrated it. And especially Brajvasis because Krishna has appeared. So even if they don't know, but they have natural, this is what we read in the yesterday's class, that they have natural love for Krishna. So without, they don't, there, there doesn't have to be any hetu for that. And just because he's son of our chief, so now we must celebrate. They naturally have love for him, so they celebrate that he has appeared now. So therefore he says that the whole Vraja was Samrishta, Samsikta, Dwarajira, Grihantara. So Samrishta means sweeping, cleaning. They cleaned their houses, their courtyards, the paths, inside, outside. And Samsikta means sprinkling, Sinchana, with fragrant water so everything became nice smelling good so where did they do that dwara ajira grihantara that they are the gates of their houses ajira is courtyard and also inside the house so everyone decorated their house and outside so first is cleaning sprinkling so this is also samskar and then decoration with chitra dhvaja pataka shraka chayla pallava toranai so they made torana torana is when you hang things on a thread or a rope right so you make more buntings with these days have with paper. So they also had various types of flags, patakas, cloth. So they hang hung things on their doors at the top of their house, on the path. They tied various types of decorations, garlands, etc. So therefore the whole 
Braja was decorated because Krishna has appeared. So Jaitite Dhikam Janamana Braja. So Braja became more beautiful, more glorious by Krishna's birth. And Shraita Indira Shashwadatrahi. So opulence became manifest by his birth. Open your question. <coughs> In the verse number five of the commentary, the last uh, further, Prastava Sadrisa Uttayaha. What does he refer to here? Means whatever is the context. So then they make statements. Ukti, you know, means they recite statements according to the situation. If it is the occasion of birth, then they will make slokas related with birth. If it is marriage, they will recite something related with marriage. If it is something else, some victory, then they will make slokas related to victory. So that is what Bandis do. In Prastava, they use it. Yeah. <coughs> so, Adho Samyak Mrishtani Pashat Chandan Pushpadi Rasaihi Samsiktani. Dwarani, Ajirani, Anganani, Grihamadhyani, Chai, yes, means sir. So this whole thing is a big Samas compound word. Samrishta, Samsikta, Dwara, Ajira, Grihantar. And this whole thing is qualifying Vraja. Right? Samrishta, Samsikta, Dwara, Ajira, Grihantara, Vraja. So how was Vraja? Vraja was in which the houses, the courtyards, the gates of the houses, they were all cleaned and they were all spread with fragrant water which was mixed with various types of essences of flowers, flower essence like they have essential oils these days. So that is Pushpadi Rasa and Chandana also. You mix it with the chandan paste and then sprinkle it. So they first they cleaned it, samyak mrishtani means first sweeping everything, dusting and then sprinkling with this paschat chandan pushpadi rasai samsiktani. And where did they do it? Dwarani, the entrances of the houses, the gates, ajirani, ajir means angana, means the front yard or courtyard or backside, whatever, and Grihamadhyani also inside the house. So this is one way and then decorating it. Chitra Dhvaja Pataka Bhyam Tatha Chitra Naam Sraja Chela Naam Chela Khanda Naam Pallava Naam Chaiti. So Chitra means colorful multicolor. So there were pataka, dvaja, different types of flags and there were also colorful garlands, swaja, swak, and then various types of cloth, chal khandanam. So with that they make some kind of decoration and also pallava. Pallava is from the tree, the buds, and the newly leaves coming out. So they took out the various types like mango leaves and you tie them together. So that is Pallavani. So Torana. Trividha is Torana Vibhusita Bhut. So with these three types, he says, they made Torana. Torana is what you call bunting, where you have a rope and you tie flowers, pallavas, flags, all this and then hang it. 
Then next comes the cows, which is their wealth and they are worshipable. So, Gavo, Vrisha, Vatsatara, Haridra, Tailaru, Shitaha, Vichitra, Dhatu, Barha, Shraga, Vastra, Kanchana, Malina. So, they decorated the cows, the bulls, the calves by applying turmeric and oil. So, you take some oil, mix turmeric in that and then with that put it in your hand and stamp the body of the cow, make design. So, this is Haridra Taila Rushita. So, Rushita means decorated with oil mixed with turmeric. So, they did this to the cows, to the bulls and also the calves. And they also used Vichitra Dhatu Barha Shraga Vastra Kanchana Malina. So, various types of Dhatus, various types of what you call material you find in the mountains which you can use you powder it mix it make designs with that like garika so white thing is there and this kashaya so all these things barha is peacock feather swag is garland, vastra, cloth and kanchan malina and also garland made of gold. So, cows were de decorated like that. They made various types of design, tied cloth around their horn, put nice garland in their necks and also they made various types of designs with the colorful paints, powders. So, this is how they decorated the cows. Rushita Lipta. Rushita here means smeared. So, they smeared them, especially the horn. Maharha Vastra Abharna Kanchuko Yushnisha Bhushita Gopa Samaya Yurajan Nano Payan Panayaha. So, the various, the different Gopas, cowherd people, they came from different villages and they were bringing different types of gifts for Nanda Maharaj and for the baby. Like when a child is born, people give some gift, right? Some toys, cloth something like that. So, they are also bringing. So, Gopa Samayayu, the cowherd men, they came. Nana Upaya and Panaya. How did they come? They had different types of Upahara, gifts in their hands. And how were they looking? So, from here you can understand also the dress, what kind of dress they War. So it says Maharha Vastrabhan. They had very expensive dresses and ornaments, and they had Kanchuka, so the upper garment, like what you call these days Kurta or Angarkha, Bagalbandi. So this type of dress and Ushnisa. Ushnisa means turban, right? It protects you from the heat. Ushnisa. Ushna, you know, heart. Ishadushna, Ushna. So, Ushnisa. So, turban is also characteristic of Indian people. In the olden days, everyone used to have a turban. So, they had turban, they had upper 
garment called kanchuka and then lower garment is dhoti this is vastra in sanskrit it is called vesti because it goes around your waist and waist in sanskrit means to cover so sanskrit is called vesti so this is how they came so everybody was very nicely decorated dressed so they were dressed nicely the cows were dressed and then came the gopis गोप्याण मुदिता यशोदाया सुतोद्भव आत्मा भूषियान चक्रूर वस्त्रा कल पंजनादिधि सो द गोपी इज इट्स नॉट ओनली ओनली द गोपाज केम बट द गोपी इज ऑल्सो केम बिकॉज दे आर द वन हू विल सिंग एंड डांस सो ब्रज एरिया डांसिंग इज वेरी कॉमन फीचर इवन नाउ सिंगिंग एंड डांसिंग एनी ओकेजन दैन लेडीज डांस and they sing so gopis they came when they heard that nand maharaj has got a child they all became happy mudita yashoda yah sutodbhav that yashoda has given birth to a son so it is as if they have got a son so atmanam bhushyan chakru they also decorated themselves सो वस्त्र आकल्प अंजना देवी सो अंजना इज फॉर द आईज आकल्प इज अदर टाइप ऑफ डेकोरेशन फेशियल डेकोरेशन फॉर द हेड राइट मेकिंग वेनिंग ब्रेड मेकिंग द हेयर नाइसली एंड वस्त्र नाइस ड्रेस सो दे ऑल ड्रेस्ड इन गोपी ड्रेस एंड दे कैन इन अ वेरी blissful mood so that's how krishna's birth was being celebrated baba ji maharaj can i ask a question mm. so based on the shlokas we've been studying there seems to be a contrast in how the celebrations are happening in braja as opposed to where vasudeva and devaki were but they were not able to do the jata samskara hmm uh, so is that because of circumstances that they could not do it or is it because of the aishwarya bhava that it was not done why aishwarya bhava should should not be done aishwarya bhava he will do more okay why you think that aishwarya bhava i was just wondering that uh, is you know i mean what the driving force here seemed to be there was no hetu and it was all you know because of prema and there is prema there as well but then it was not done is it only because of circumstances that could not be done or? no yeah it was circumstances i mean they there is the possibility of doing it they were inside the prison so they so can they do manasi is that is that something yes and moreover they they didn't want it to be known to anybody they were scared you know that how oh, yes. they were yes they were trying to hide yes. regarding all the ornaments and decorations is it also typical in praja that people would um, paint their faces also yeah like we do for like we see in for deities for example yeah this is the akalpa vastra kalpanjana ni anything else 